I made it down on the beach. Uh, Robin Hood's Bay is that direction. Uh, as you can see, people trying to walk around the headland, it's still tied a long way in. Uh, where I often go fossil hunting at Robin Hood's Bay is around that headland. And if we look the other direction, where I'm going to be walking, I'm going to follow the sandy beach along and head that way. Uh, that headland there, you might just see a little bit of uh, rock sticking out of the water. That's Raven's car, and the little rock that's sticking out of the water is where the seals uh, are. Uh, so my goal, if I can, is to pretty much go all the way along here uh, as the tide keeps going out, and we'll fossil hunt a lot. Uh, as you can see with the t uh, all the sand on the beach, uh, I don't expect to find a huge amount, uh, but we will have a look as it's my first time here. Uh, and this area, if you're gonna find something, there's not much of it, but it will be rare. Uh, and I do like some rare ammonites. Not gotten too far along, but this little ammonite there, I just wanted to show you uh, another little one there by the looks of it in this block. Uh, might give it a bit of a tap, see if anything breaks out of it. Uh, the one on the top is gone. I don't want that one, uh, but we'll see if there's anything else inside it. Get walking, uh, we're uh, two, two bays along, I guess, or two mini bits along. Uh, but most of the beach looks like this, it's sand. And there's a few rocks exposed, but it's mostly sand. And this is why most people don't come here uh, midsummer. Uh, I'm currently in a section that looks like it's all glacial uh, till, uh, or at least has been washed and mixed with it. Uh, so this is slowly eroding out, uh, and it's a mix of everything, no defined layers. Uh, the defined layers will be underneath the sea here and underneath the sand below us. Uh, it needs a good scour from a winter storm to wash it all out, or even a summer storm, but we haven't had a good summer storm or winter storm in a while, so uh, I doubt we're going to find too much, but we'll keep looking. Treating the fossil hunting a little bit like you would on the Holderness coast, just wandering along fairly near the cliff edge on the way out, uh, just having a look at all the things that are washed out. So, you've got some lovely little shelly fossils here, uh, and other bits and pieces in these blocks. So, a little bit of wood just visible on the edge there. Um, this block may not look like much. Uh, but it's actually a lump of uh, coral. And you can see all of the little tubes running through it. So a nice uh, shell here. Uh, looks like a pinner shell. Uh, so a long elongate one with a second side on the other one. Again, a spot the fossil. Oh, this one might get a few people because it's not your usual fossil. Yeah, so this is a Gryphia, uh, Devil's Toenail, so sometimes called. A um, bit water-worn, but in pretty good nick otherwise. The yeah, ammonites have been pretty few and far between today, but another little one won't be coming home with me because it's pretty broken and there's no sign of uh, anything more to make it worthwhile. But uh, they are here, uh, just I think we'll get lucky if uh, we find anything good. Or we will be very lucky if we find anything good. I said we'd be lucky if we got anything. Looks like it's a little pleuro, I think. Um, but yeah, it looks like that might be all there. But it's very little. I'd like some bigger ones. Let's see what we can do. Ask for a bigger ammonite. Should have specified. Not a flat ammonite. So it's a block I spotted with these three, at least, ammonites sticking out. So I tapped it to try and break it down and it split. Not great, but there's a few in there. A few more on that side, and two sides go back together pretty nicely, so I'm going to put that in my bag, and uh, can always get that prepped later. So this is the hill up to Raven's car, and you can see the people coming down for the seals here. Uh, the seals are out about there, um, so I'm not going to get any closer to the colony uh, or the people. Um, I also strongly discourage you, but uh, doing what one of the people over there has done and brought their dog down. Um, my plan is to start wandering back. Uh, so, uh, I'm not sure if you can see everything with the sun, Robin Hood's Bay over there. Uh, I'm going to go to Bogle Hall, which is about there. Um, and it's not been super productive, but I'm going to go wander through this. And there's a few little multi blocks I picked up, uh, and hopefully, there might be a few more just tucked in there. Just going to have a look a bit closer and a bit slower. So, a big chunk of pleuro, or I think it's pleuro at least. Uh, you can just see the edges of the ammonite, but really not worth taking home, so that's going to stay on the beach. 
Hey everyone, uh, I know a lot of you at the beginning were probably thinking, ah, oh, he's not wearing his helmet. Uh, that last time, which is for sure. Well, just to give a demonstration, I will be having it with me on all my trips from now on. Um, Byron from the fossil shop in Whitby uh, did make a good point for those of us who are making videos. We've got to probably help set a good example. That includes our safety because no one wants any fossil hunters on the coast to get themselves hurt. Um, so as part of that, uh, I'm going to try and encourage where possible safe collecting. That includes helmets, correct footwear, eyewear for protection. I've got my sunglasses today. I've also got my other goggles in my bag um, when spitting rocks. So it's just all those sensible things. I've also got water bottle, so I've got fluids, food just in case, waterproofs. All those things are in my bag ready to go. Uh, I've got a light as well because I'm out at the end of the day. So if it does get dark and I get stranded anywhere, um, I've got a safety measure. I've also got my phone on me. Uh, down in Boggle Hall, we have signal pretty much the whole way along, which is nice. Uh, but that's not true in other places. Um, my wife knows exactly where I am. Uh, so if I don't make it back for when I'm expected, she'd be able to raise the alarm. Uh, ideally, you'd fossil hunt in pairs at least, but uh, uh, sometimes it's not plausible or not possible. So. Uh, it's just those sort of basics, knowing when the tides are. I mean, I've still got an hour before low, but I've run out of space. Uh, that's the Raven's Car headland over there. Um, there's no more hunting around that way worth doing, at least not when I've only got about an hour to get around there and get back um, with the tide. And then it's going to start coming in, and that side does get dangerous to get cut off. Uh, so I'm going to kind of work my way back. I'm going to enjoy the view because it's beautiful at the minute. Um, and I'm going to keep encouraging you in the videos to do the safe collecting. If you don't know the area, you don't know the weather, uh, that's a you thing. You should be doing that before you go out. Uh, but if you check the weather, check the tides, and then ask someone, is this time sensible knowing these tides, they're probably far more likely to give you a good answer than, what's a good time to go out? Um, so at least do some research yourselves. Be proactive in looking after yourselves on the coast, uh, and then we'll all be a lot better off. Something I meant to talk about that you can just about see from here on these, this shot from Raven's Car Headland down here, you can see a series of steps of rock uh, and these rock actually form a series of rings of bands all the way around uh, to this other side here and they're visible on Google Maps if you have a look. Uh, these are the different layers of rock uh, that make up the bay and each one of these is a stratum so you've got lots of different layers that form strata, plural. Uh, and these strata uh, contain different ammonites and so this is how you can actually age each of these different layers. I am not an expert in them. Uh, some of the people in the fossil uh, pages on Facebook will be able to actually tell you what fossils come from which of these layers and each of these layers will be uh, aged and determined based on which combination of ammonites, which unique ammonites are found within them. Look at the size of this coral block. It's huge. There you go, on that side, just all the little pinpoints, and then you get the, the longer sections on this side. But when I say huge, I mean, there you go, huge. That's going to be a wrap for me, guys, from uh, Boggle Hole. Uh, just not being a super productive day, but we knew that was going to be the case when we got here. Uh, lived in hope that we might find something different, rare, special. Uh, you never know, you might have got lucky, or I might have got lucky. That would have been a great day. Uh, I still cannot complain, as you've seen, it's beautiful out here again. Uh, the clouds have been rolling in all afternoon, but no rain, other than been good. Um, I'm overnighting. Not sure exactly where I'm going to overnight, but somewhere. I've got the car. So I'm going to find a place to park up. Be out again bright and early tomorrow morning. Thanks all for joining me, uh, and I hope you join me for the next one. Cheers.